dear students this is my second lecture on facility planning and the plant engineering <clears throat> i have already discussed some introductory part in lecture first why we need for the facility plan and what are the thing associated with the facility planning are required and different types of approaches uh, given by some certain types of people some certain scientist related to the facility planning like muthars like reeds apples etc etc today we will discuss important factors to evaluate the facility plans so there are some important factors in which layout characteristics material handling requirements load implied as well as storage strategies these are some basic important factors to evaluate the facility plans so if we are talking about the layout characteristic because in which total distance travel is the most important because distance uh, this is the function of distance and when you analyze so this is the most important characteristic in your layout because movement of the product from machine to machine or from floor to floor is very important and consider always in your analysis and another is the material handling requirement this is also most important factor in your planning in which you have to consider what are the use of current material handling equipments because sometimes on your floor different types of material handling equipments are there some are utilized some are uh, not utilized so you have to focus how much equipments are in working and how much are in how much uh, equipments are not in working conditions so first you should aware about the use for the current material handling equipment equipments and investment requirement or new equipments because products designing may be changed some certain types of planning may be changed so obviously investment requirement produce for the new equipments and utilization of the space and the people requirements for your material handling how much space are given and how much people basically are involved in your material handling systems so these all points will be considered in your layout planning if you are talking about the load employees so what are the exactly impact on working process level so we will discuss these point in the different types of layouts and if you are talking about the storage strategies so you should aware about the space and people requirements because storing is a most important part in your layout planning how much space are given to the earth huh? and how much people are involved in the storage system so this is the most important part or uh, in your planning what are the space and how much people are involved and exactly what are the impact found on material handling equipments and what are the human factor risk you have to consider it so before starting the facility layouts if you want to determine the location for a new machine so ultimately layout problem may be may be produced and yani layout problem may be because of determining the location for the new machine layout problem may be because of you want to develop a new layout for an existing production plant a layout problem may be because of develop a layout for a new production plant so these are basically some areas where the layout problem may be done okay uh, so if you want to focus about the facility layout 
layout so you should show, you should have here why the layout problem may be arises hey, wh what are the reason of layout problems so suppose if you are change in your product design ha huh, so ultimately your layout problem may be arise hmm. additional or the deletion of the products sometimes demands of the products are increased sometimes demand of the product are decrease okay so if it is decrease no need of the product then you have to delete the product in uh, from your manufacturing area from your processing area if the demand is increase then you have to add your product in manufacturing area or in your process so addition or the deletion of the products layout problem may be arises change in the demand of the products change in the design of the process addition or the deletion of the process and the replacement of the equipments because after long use of the equipments yeah if you can say you want to remove some equipments because of change in your design of the products or change in the design of the process ultimately you have to replace it of your equipment in your facility layout so these are the some reason because of considering the layout facility layouts problems what are the objective of the facility layouts generally in your uh, if you uh, if if you go in industry different types of equipments are there they are related to the manufacturing they are related to some certain uh, you can say uh, you uh, material handling parts also people are there so uh, if the first objective is minimize investment in equipments in your planning as i have already told you that use of current material handling okay what are the use of current machines available in your manufacturing area so, so your in your in your planning or in your facility layout you should uh, your first objective is minimize investment as much as possible in equipments production time should also be minimized because if you are uh, uh, you can say medium type or the heavy type industry heavy product type industry so production time plays a most important because in your uh, suppose your layout is the process layout ultimately here the uh, you can say production time will increase as compared to product layout so in your uh, planning in your layout the second objective is to minimize the production time and you also reduce the material handling cost and how to reduce the material handling cost because this is the function of the distance because the product move from one machine to another or another to uh, next or from one floor to another floor or from the manufacturing area to the assembly line okay so in that condition there may be lots of distance are involved so as much as you are reduce the distances then your material handling cost will be reduces so this is your third objective in your facility plans okay another is the another objective is the utilization of the space because in your industry if you go if you see there what will happen some space are available some space are not available okay in your manufacturing area machines are there or your in assembly lines or uh, you can say some quality checks points okay certain spaces are there so utilization of space should consider in your facility layouts as much as possible so this is the most important 
and maintain the flexibility of arrangement and the operation this is the next objective of in your planning flexibility of the arrangement means suppose some machines uh, having breakdown okay so you want to replace it so if your machine is replaced so your production should not be affected due to of this breakdown so in your planning you should, your objective should be maintain the flexibility of the arrangement and the operations and the next objective in your planning in your facility layout provide the safety and the comfort to the employee because this is the most important sometimes if any accident happened so what will you do okay so because uh, the size of the machine is large accidental uh, accident chances may be uh, possible if the people are working for more than 8 uh, hours or uh, they are giving uh, long times on a machines so this is the human being error so you have to provide the safety and at what level of comfort to give your employees so if you are provide safety and the comfort to employee they indirectly affect your production basically okay so these are some points or these are some objectives you should consider in your facility layouts okay there are different types of layouts you have already learned in your uh, btec course so these are some types of layouts fixed position layout process layout product layout and group technology layout if we are talking about the fixed position layouts means if your product difficult to move then it should be considered in the fixed position layout what does it mean uh, suppose if you are manufacturing ship if you are manufacturing uh, aeroplane okay so this is these products are large in size so in that condition you have to arrange all the operations all the machines all the related things associated with the product at a one platform or near to the products so this is the fixed position layout and the process layout basically this is the job shop means number of uh, op, number of jobs you have to prepare you have to manufacture uh, in process layouts all the machines are uh, arranged in uh, similar department suppose lathe machines so lathe machines should be arranged in a one department different types of machines are placed in a different departments so your different uh, products are there in during your process layouts so once your products move in lathe department after that they move for the second operation to the suppose they are doing drilling so they move toward the drilling again required after drilling the lathing work on that products again you have to back toward the uh, back to the department of lathe so here uh, such type of uh, layouts are uh, uh, such type of layout uh, consider for the process and product layout if you want to consider the mass production line means all the machine are arranged in straight line okay so according to product you have to arrange all the machines all the operations of the related to the product once the raw materials raw material raw materials input are giving at one end output is the your finish finished products so this is all about the types of layouts with this uh, fixed position layout you can see the materials comes from the stores and at the center the products are there lathe weld pen process grinds assemblies they all are arranged at a one place and after that they move toward the warehouse or toward the final stage
okay so in the fixed product layout there are some certain types of advantages and the disadvantages and there are the some limitations so in that condition material movement is reduced okay this is the one most important advantage but if you are talking about the limitations so personal and the equipment movement is increase as much as possible okay because and each and every things required near toward the products so with this pictures you can understand that the fixed position layout this is the aeroplane assembly line uh, aeroplane and here all the things are arranged according to the products the process layout i have already told you about that what is process layout once the materials comes from the stores they reach toward different types of departments according to the products so here in the process layout number of products are produced at a one time okay one products move toward the lathe and they move uh, second operation in a milling department and after that they move in a welding department again back toward the uh, lathe uh, or back toward the milling departments so product will basically move in the arrange department of individual machines so here the general machines general type of machines you can use because there are num different types of products you are manufactured you are machined at a different departments so here the utilization machine is more but the disadvantage is that the distance between the uh, distance for the product from raw material to finish is increase so this is process layout uh, if you see from room 2 room 3 room 4 room 5 room 6 how to arrange it and you are you are just placing one to one and departments and product layout if you i have already discussed what is product layout if you if you want to produce the material if you want to produce the product on a large scale or mass productions then we have used the product layouts raw materials put in a one end and finished products comes out at the other end so all machines are arranged according to the requirement of the products in one line this is the product layouts and there are lots of limitations are there lots of advantages are there A smooth simple logical and direct flow line results machine stoppage stop the lines so in that condition if the disadvantage is that if the breakdown comes at any end your production line will become stop so Uh, this is the disadvantage of the product layout but uh, in your planning you have to arrange it so this is the assembly line or the product uh, you can understand what does mean by the product layouts so this is the different types of operations performing on a product that is your product is the car and there are different types of robotic arms are there well they do some different types of welding works or the other types of works by robotic arms so uh, you can understand that once the product come and operations is performing so in your planning you have to arrange according to the product all the machines materials and the equipments so this is the graph related to the product volume versus uh, product variety if you are increasing uh, means your production volume is large so here in the product layout but in the process layout your production volume is minimum because here the variety is increases so with this help of simple layout of manufacturing shops are given to the there are different types of uh, area are giving to their here the specific dimensions are there 
okay why suppose this is the coating department how much requirements are there dispensing area ya field area what are the machines area so you are uh, all are arranged in your planning so this is the all about uh, the manufacturing planning uh, man facility planning in the manufacturing area thank you very much once again for uh, passion thank you